Hello, everybody. <coughs> Today, I'm going to show you master record in SAP MM. So there are five master records available in SAP MM. The first one is vendor master, material master, purchase info record, source list, and batch management. I'm going to show all the master records in one process. Let's go to the SAP system. This is my live system. Okay, I'm going to create a vendor master node. X BP, transaction code BP. New, new person. Okay, let me select grouping. Grouping is triple zero one. Let me select grouping triple zero one. See here, internal. Okay, enter industries. Okay, save. Let me save this. So now display change. Select on to vendor supplier. See here. This is the one. FLB N01. Okay. So, A. Yes, yes. Respondents language EN English. <clears throat> Enter pin code Bangalore region 20 India IN. Now go to company code HK02 is my company. Enter reconciliation account. And save. So you get the supplier number here. This is my supplier number. 100091. is my supplier. This is the supplier. This is the supplier. Now click on to display change. Display change again. Select on to vendor. Purchasing. Go to purchasing. Now enter purchasing group. HK02 is my purchasing. Order currency is INR. And save it. <clears throat> so I have created vendor. Come back. So now vendor has been created. Now let me create material master. Go to MM0. Source list. Sorry, industry sector. Mechanical engineering and raw material. Raw material. Select. See here, this is the raw material. This is the raw material. That's it. Scroll down. I'm going to unselect this warehouse. Enter. Organization levels. HK02 is my plant. So relocation HK02. Raw metal. Each base unit of measure pressure. Presenter. Presenter. Select batch management. Presenter. MRP type. No MRP. Presenter, select valuation class 3000. Save. Zero. Save. So this is my material. 525 is my material. 
five to five. This is my material. Now I am going to create info record. Go to info record. Me eleven. Info record. Supplier is this is the supplier. One triple zero nine one. This is my supplier. Enter plant HK zero two. This is my plant. Enter. Standard quantity fifty. Net price thousand hundred rupees. Delivery time. Purchasing group selected from here. So I have created purchase info record. So now go to I am going to create a source list. This is also done. This is also done. This is also done. This is also done. So now I am going to create source list. Go to me zero one. Me zero one. <clears throat> okay, this is my material five twenty five. Press enter. Now generate. Click on to generate. Continue. Save it. See it. This is the supplier. So this came. This has come from purchase info record. Save it. So I have created purchase info record also. So this is also done. Now let me create a batch manage. Batch. Go to MSC one n. MSC one n. Batch manage. 525 is my batch storage location HK02. Yes. Okay. Date of manufacture. Enter the date of manufacture. Enter shelf life expiry date. If it is a food, it is three months expiry date. Shelf life expiry date. So enter available available from one. Press enter and save it. So forty three is my batch. Forty three is my batch. Save. Batch. Forty three is my batch. Now let me create a purchase requisition. Go to slash and M E. Fifty-one yen <clears throat> purchase requisition. Enter material five twenty five. Se select source determination. Enter material five twenty five. This my material. Enter quantity. Enter plant. HK zero two is my plant. Let me enter storage location also. HK zero two. Enter purchasing group. Triple zero double zero one. Enter valuation price. Select source of supply. See here vendor has come. So this is based on the it has come based on the source determination. From source list. From source list, source list refers to purchase info record. Purchase info record refers to vendor master and material master. See here, one triple zero nine one, Carl Industries. So now let me save it. So this is the 
fear fear 100 0071 is the fear so now let me and create po me 21n based on this fear So seven one. So it has come here. So select and adapt. Adapt. Go to header. So save it. Save. So I have created purchase order. So this is the purchase order. Four double zero triple zero. One eight one is the purchase order. Go to now. Let me do goods result. M I G O. Goods result purchase order. Enter purchase order. Now select onto this non-order item. Let me select the batch. I'm going to select the batch. Press enter. This is the batch. Forty-three is the batch. See, forty-three is the batch. So I have selected it. Now item OK. Post. Let me post this. Let me change the date. Post. So now come back. I'm going to do MIR vendor invoice. Go to MIR. Enter date. Select tax. A two is my tax. Enter purchase order number here. Calculate tax. Baseline date. Set on to basic data. Go to basic data. Enter this amount eleven thousand five fifty. This is the amount I we have to enter it. This is payable to the vendor. Eleven thousand five fifty. Select business place. Select selection. Section code. Enter place of supply and save it. So I have done all the master data. I have created all the master data and I have used all the master data in SAP in transaction data. So again, I repeat: vendor master, material master, purchase info record, source list, and batch management. I have used in the. Processes. Thank you.